All right, people, here is the deck profile for Crystal Beast Pendulum. So you would think that Crystal Beast would be kind of eh, but it actually turned out pretty strong when you saw the Pendulum mechanic. So the Pokemon Pals, the Pendulum Summon, then the Mass Summon of uh, Ruby Carbuncle, and the fact that Sapphire Pack Systems once per turn just led to some awesome, strong plays with this deck. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad that Omega Chaos brought it up, and it was cool that you guys voted on it. So my variant is different than Omega Chaos's. Uh, at first, he sent me his variant, and over time, with his last test on site, so I'm making changes of my own, doing other things, and uh, eventually it turned into what you see now. So if Omega Chaos is watching this, he'll probably be like, yeah, that's not my deck. But, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to say that my version is better, but I can definitely say it's more aggressive. I can tell you, I can tell you that. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, of course, three Sapphire Pegasus. You're not running Crystal Beast, you're not running Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus is the best one. Uh, when it's summoned, put a Crystal Beast from your hand, Decker Gabriel, right into the Spell Trap Zone, including a Sapphire Pegasus and its effect is in once per turn. So, you can go Sapphire Pegasus, put in Sapphire Pegasus, then summon Sapphire Pegasus, put in Sapphire Pegasus. Like, it, it, you already know. Like, Sapphire Pegasus is the best. We're on two Eagle. Uh, the reason why we run Eagle is because it is also another level 4 win, which means Lightning Chidori plays. Uh, its first effect is kind of, eh, it really is. Uh, I don't think I've ever done it. It's just kind of mute at that. Like, I guess you can go ahead and target a, a, a Sapphire Pegasus and put it on top of your deck so you can draw into it and play it. But I'd rather draw into a new card than draw into what I know I'm going to draw like that and my opponent let me draw, you know? Because... Uh, that new card that could be something completely different while it's like the duel can change after the time that i was like oh yeah well, i totally want that uh, sapphire pegasus at the top of my deck and now i'm gonna draw into it and that's not what i need to draw so i don't know i don't know uh you're in one topaz tiger he goes up to a 2000 beater uh when he attacks the monster's not terrible and really he's only here uh at one in the deck because of number generator there's a reason for that so yeah and then two ruby carbuncle one is not enough three is cloggy i noticed that and uh uh, we have some plays with it, but overall, uh, it's just for that additional Pendulum Summon. And if you Pendulum Summon it, and it Special Summon, you get to go ahead and Special Summon more Crystal Beats from your Spell and Trap Card Zone, so that's pretty powerful as well. And two Summoner Monk. There is a lot of spells in here. Summon Teen Spells, and uh, the play that we like to do is go Summoner Monk, pitch a spell, Summon uh, Sorcerer, Sorcerer Pop itself, and Summoner Monk to then get two searches. It looks like you already used your normal summon that turn, but I mean, you just went straight up plus, and I mean, come on, it's a Pendulum Sorcerer and your Pendulum Mechanic, so let's go. Uh, one Monkey Board, I mean, it's Monkey Board, one Scorecard with Joker, one. Uh, 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 I've been sticking with this ratio lately. Uh, I've been wanting to try out more, more Laser Draw just because he's an upper scale, and his Pop Attack is really good as well, and his Field Effect is really great as well. Like, a Laser Draw is just overall just a really great card, so three Laser Draw, plus we have some uh, rank three plays that we might want to do. So, uh, Laser Draw, uh, that one Swing Cobra because it's searchable with uh, King of the Imps and he is a lower scale that one guitar turtle. I see people doing two guitar turtle, three lizard draw, but I think I mean lizard draw. I mean guitar turtle. I really can't do anything with that outside of the pendulum zone. Like once it's in the pendulum zone, it is kind of there. And even if they pop it, I mean I still got you know lizard draw as my upper scale, so it's fine. But uh, while well, lizard draw, I can you know pendulum summon it and do things with it. So. Uh, just I usually go with one key to draw three laser drop, and of course three sorcerer, and then the one of the greatest MVPs, uh, Crystal Vanguard here. Uh, you can tribute this card to add a Rainbow Dragon. We're not running it. Dark Rainbow Dragon. We're not running it. Crystal Beast Monster. Yeah, or Crystal Spell of Trap from your deck to your hand. That's so good, you know. And you get a Pendulum Summon it. Tribute. You get a Third Pendulum Summon. Tribute. You get a Third. And uh, that's another thing where I'm not so worried about Guitar Turtle uh, getting popped or destroyed because Vanguard is also upper scale of five. So. Uh, a Crystal Beast Monster card, Rainbow Dragon, that cannot be targeted uh, by your opponent's card tag. Eh, but still, I mean, it's good nonetheless. Alright, and uh, yeah, that is the monster. Yeah, 23, that Regeki, because this deck can OTK, it can go in and have hella resources to throw the Regeki and go for game. Uh, three Crystal Promise. Crystal Promise is so good, especially with Sapphire Pegasus. You summon Sapphire Pegasus, put Sapphire Pegasus. Activate Crystal Promise, target Crystal Beast in your spell trap card, special summon that target. So summons Crystal Pegasus, Crystal Pegasus, put a Crystal Pegasus. Like, it's actually been time I was like, Crystal Pegasus, Crystal Promise, Crystal Pegasus, Crystal Promise, Crystal Pegasus, put some, you know, like, like, it's so good. It's so good. It just gives you hella plus it. And, uh, round three, Crystal Beacon. So, you special summon a Crystal Beast monster from a deck if you have two or more Crystal Beast monsters in your spell trap card zone. I think I'm cutting this card to two because it can be clocky, but it's really great to just have two crystal beasts back there and they just be like all right i have two play the special summon ruby carpet go ruby carpet special summon two crystal pegs sit and you know put them so i'll try cards on just go hella plus and resources uh run two two crystal basin because three is clocky uh this card is pretty much good to uh get back your cards after you keep them you target two crystal beast monsters you get right and then you play something in your spell trap card zone so pretty much you can just have two crystal beast monsters xc them 
do your XP monsters, detach them, play this card, put them back in your spell and trap card zone with blessing, activate beacon, special summon the Ruby Black Oath, special summon those monsters, get it started, uh, you know, play the uh, Sapphire Pegasus. Like, it's kind of, you're going to be looping them Sapphire Pegasus. Like, uh, I'd much rather grab the Sapphire Pegasus out of the graveyard and them these three touching each other and really touch these three unless absolutely necessary. But uh, yeah, that's, I mean, you could just tell the plus. And of course, the Insta Fusion for Norton, Triple Turn Twister, pop that back row. This is why I'm probably bad, but uh, you saw it in Modernity, then you've seen it now. Three, Pendulum Rising. Why three Pendulum Rising? To up the consistency of Bust It at the Pendulum Plays, because it's so good. So, uh, you see that we have some fours here, with some fours here. Uh, and one of the great things, especially with uh, Sapphire Pegasus, and even if I you know draw multiple, I can just set it and then pop it with Sorcerer, so it's still good. Uh, you can summon crystal, uh, Sapphire Pegasus, Sapphire Pegasus will put the, another Pegasus or whatever Crystal Beast in your uh, zone. Then you can go ahead and play Rising, send that Crystal Pegasus, summon the Sorcerer, and that Sorcerer can then pop itself and the uh, monster that you put in a spell and trap card zone so then get your double search which is great and then one ancient city rainbow runes it's pretty decent it's not really necessary in this version of deck but i mean it's crispy and it's a really great fit but nonetheless if you play it it's pretty much going to sit there on the field as long as you can uh continue having uh crystal beast monsters in your spell and trap card zone and then get hella pluses and resources and be great uh, as you can clearly see, there is no traps, and uh, that's one of the key differences between me and a Meg, I uh, mean, you know, Mega Chaos. And Mega Chaos didn't do this forever, Epic version. Uh, this deck is that he actually ran traps, he actually ran um, that one Crystal Beast trap card. Uh, I ran it, then I started staring at one, and then, you know, it surely fell out because it's slow. It's really slow. And uh, I ain't nobody got time to be slow in this deck. I mean, it's Pendulum, it's Crystal Beast. I gotta go fast. I get two Pendulum summons per turn. I'm gonna get hella resources, hella plays. I'm gonna outplay you. I'm gonna outplace you. And you're gonna be like, Crystal Beast aren't shit. And be like, yeah, you know, Ruby Carbuncle and Crystal Beast, they were the fucking Pendulum summon before Pendulum existed. So let's go ahead and splash them together. Like, like I'm glad that uh, Forever Epic entered the pieces of the deck. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. If I could have got another month on it, that would have been great. But I'm fine with only one month. It was enjoyable. So you guys go ahead and take the deck, do whatever you want, trend it up, play it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's it's fun on the button. Extra deck wise, one Norden. Uh, we were running one Hiatus, and this is one of the things that Forever X suggested. And I was like, I sure we're not. These two are light level three, so we can go into this and slap this on top. 2700 uh, beater. Uh, it can't attack turn that you can just slap it on top, but uh, well, I think it can attack, but it can't use the fact. Can't use the fact. Uh, but if it you know rotates turn that gets a detach material, target a monster on the field in the graveyard, add it back to the hand. So that's pretty good. So uh, yeah. Guy Charger, Pierce, go for game. Uh, King of Ireland, search for these reptile monsters. Because uh, you're a reptile, and you're a reptile, and you guys are important. So, uh, Brick Sword, because we have some threes. Utopia, Utopia, Lightning, two Lightning Chidori's, because we have some level four wins. I mean, that's one of the great things about Crystal Beast and Sapphire Pegasus and stuff. You got some level four wins, you got access to Lightning Chidori. Let's go, boys. Uh, one Castile, Dark Rebellion, uh, Dark Terminal, two Recycled, uh, Diamond Dire Wolf, and Abyss Dweller. So, uh, there it is, people. There is the Crystal Beast Pendulum deck. So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the deck profile. If you haven't seen it already, uh, the deck that we're replacing it, which is Chemical Bees, the video for that is already up, so uh, be sure to watch that as well. And we are done with deck profiles, so, uh, yep, all the decks we've been replaced. So for the next upcoming month, we'll be playing with the new decks on Daily Duels um, for the second half of July into the first half of August, and then rinse and repeat. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels. Thanks for watching.